Okay, um, metabolism and body growth. So we talk a lot about metabolism. Now we find good, finally go to body growth. If you need to, it will be very short. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, um, you can finish it hopefully in one or two video here. So body growth. Um, so what hormone will affect body growth? Um, the first one is uh, we will talk about uh, thyroid hormone. If we have a low high thyroid hormone, what would that cause? Um, if you remember our previous video, we talked about the function of thyroid hormone. Then you remember cretinism. Um, low thyroid hormone will cause us your cretinism. So uh, basically, you will cause a short statue and also uh, remember intellectual. Disability, yeah, intellectual disability. And then of course, when we talk about body growth, uh, we should immediately think about growth hormone. And remember, um, remember our endocrine system, the uh, the pathway in the hypothalamus, ampit, and then effector. So we'll have this. Growth hormone, releasing hormone from hypothalamus. Go will stimulate the NP to secrete growth hormone. And then growth hormone will stimulate liver to secrete IGF-1. IGF-1 stands for insulin-like growth factor 1. Insulin-like growth factor 1. And IGF-1 will induce, of course, hyperplasia. Hypertrophy. So remember which one is the uh, increasing the size of the cells, which one in is uh, increasing the number of cells. How do you think about this? This is the number, this is size. Number three. Um, Believe it or not, uh, insulin can also have a, uh, can also induce uh, body growth. Insulin uh, from pancreas, of course, can cause the liver to secrete an IGF one. Again, IGF-1 stands for insulin-like growth factor 1 and it will induce a fetal growth When we talk about growth, of course, I hope uh, many of you will think about uh, sex hormone because sex hormones, uh, they are the ones that induce um, our body growth during puberty.
gonadohormones. And here is uh, Gilberto Rose Spur. So all these, they are like, um, so the first one, uh, if we don't have enough, the biohormone will, it will um, impede our growth, and then Number two, number three, number four, they are the one that will stimulate our body growth. And then what about cortisol? Cortisol. Cortisol will inhibit our body growth. For example, when children, they are lack of attention, when, uh, when the, or they will have abusive parent, um, then Usually, uh, they will have a lot of high cortisol level, and a high cortisol level will um, inhibit their body growth. For example, lack of attention or affection. And actually for this one, for number two, the growth hormone and IGF-1, there's a, actually an example, a very good example, it just has about the epiphyseal plague, bone and epiphyseal plague. So there's a very short pathway. Um, you should have learned, already learned about this in anatomy, so, but uh, this example is just a review. So you have a uh, prechondral site. In the germinal or reserve layer, And growth hormone can induce this uh, prechondral site to mature become chondral site. And chondral site will secrete IGF-1 as an autocrine signal. So as I said that, well remember in our immune system lecture, when interleukin-2 secrete, uh, I mean when helper T cell, when helper T cell secrete interleukin-2 as an autocrine signal, what does it cause the helper T cell? If you remember the uh, immune system lecture, then you will know that uh, the autocrine when interleukin-2 acts like an autocrine signal on helper T cell, helper T cell will start to clone itself so that you will have a, a lot of same helper T cell um, clone. Similarly, when chondrocyte secrete IGF-1 as an autocrine signal, it will cause a, a cell proliferation. And then uh, the proliferative cell will become cartilage cell. Cartilage 
average cell, we are also, also known as the hypertrophic, hypertrophic cell layer. And then um, osteoblasts will cause ossification or mineralization uh, to form bone. Osteoblasts. And then you have uh, ossification. Or mineralization. From bone. And that is the closing of the epiphyseal plate. The closing of the epiphyseal plate will actually um, form the epiphyseal line. So in other words, um, teenager or children, they have epiphyseal plate. But after we stop growing, like we are all adults now, we don't have epiphyseal plate, we have the epiphyseal line. Because all the uh, cartilage becomes uh, bones. So that's the end of the metabolism. Um,